I need a screwdriver. My name is Sandra Agwebo. I'm from Bini City, Edo State. I'm the first female mechanic in Nigeria, the founder of the Lady Mechanic Initiative, and the CEO of Sanders Car Care Garage. Be careful with that hole. Just come once. Come, come, come. You don't need to drop it. Let the owner come first so that uh, he can tell us what the history of the car is. My Nigeria is the giant of Africa. My Nigeria makes decisions for African continent. My Nigeria is a good Nigeria. My Nigeria is the first to produce first female mechanic in Africa. My Nigeria is where you find women, a lot of women doing male dominated profession. My Nigerian women are strong women. This is a knocking sound now. The engine has a knocking sound though. You, you can hear the noise already. I've been a mechanic for 30 years and my own garage called Sanders Car Care. With the force coming like the oil is supposed to be splashing. Okay, okay. That's what I wanted to see. That. When I opened up the garage, my name was all over town. If you go to the lady mechanic workshop, you will see that you will take care of your car like a baby. I started getting job. I could not cope anymore. I had to employ somebody. So I said, why not? Why not I start empowering women to be mechanics so that they can also open up their own workshop so that I don't just die with this idea. I started on my own to train about seven guests and one boy. We work with the vulnerables, the ex-commercial sex workers, the school dropouts, the married women, especially lady mechanic focus on the poor. Right now, we are on our way to Fausat's Auto Garage. Fausat is the first graduate of the Lady Mechanic Initiative. Now she trains other girls as well. Hey, Auntie Fausat. Okay. How are you doing? Good afternoon. Hi, family. Bye. When you have a garage like this, we pay you to be able to train the girls. Any opportunity you have, once we have an engine on the ground, we use it. This is one of, of course, many workshops. About 17 in Lagos State that we have partnered with. She is also teaching them how to do the book work, like inventory, like receipts and all that. We do have the equipment to set the timing, but we use and the mark. Yeah, yeah man. I, I, I can do it. I know I can do it. I trust my daughter that I can do it. There is that timing of age. I'm scared of age. My dream is to open a workshop. After my two years training, I open a workshop, train girls as I was trained. Mm -hmm. I'm up to a year now in Lady Mechanic. I can service the car, change brake pad, wash the car very well for the customer. I was once a street girl when I come to Lagos. I was in the street, hustling, fighting for survival. Grandma life is the tart life. Those wayward people, people that has known, I mean, whether I would say it's no normal people that are living there. 
they are just drunkards, smokers, prostitutes. They are take back drugs there. I didn't stay long there. So I believe women. They said I should come and join Lady Mechelic. I see, I said, ah, this is Lady Mechelic, oh. women doing Mechelic. I said, I will join them. My old friend. They started laughing at me, say, ah, come me, make you do a shower job. They will, you they see money, go, they send, they give your picky. I say, eh? I can't do a shower, but I don't do here for two weeks now. I never get the money when the big money. So let me see Charlie D. McKelly for two weeks. If I don't see it change, maybe I feel there with you now. I feel there here with you now. Now I tell day, oh, I can't go with Lady McKelly. I still say the life of Lady McKelly keep you better pass that place. Ah. Yeah, Lady McKelly changed my life. We know that skills can change life. That is why today we say we want to take this campaign out to an ex commercial sex house called Kuramo. So, guys, all of you follow me. Let's go and talk to them. Yeah. 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 For year now. Last year, just this day, more try more learn. Make try be like me. You know last time, I will invite all of them for my graduation next year. So you will get handy work. I did very well. Nothing like handy work. So I'm letting the girl take the work of your hand. Come, come. Do you have anything to say? As you can see, that's I'm very proud. This one, daddy, I'm going to join them. life since I was 13, 14 years old. I started off to dream. But my mother, she was always against it. My mother said, don't mind how she wants to bring disgrace to us in this family. Change has come. Lady Mechanic Initiative. Apparently, my father had to travel abroad. He went to the US and Manchester in the UK. When he got back, he said, ah, I saw female aeronautic engineers. They were doing this. I said, really, daddy? You saw them, and they were fixing aeroplane, vehicles, he said yes. So you allow me to do this. He took me to a garage where he fixed his own cars. We went down this fateful day, 13, 14 years old girl. I saw one big engine, dismantled, dark engine oil, the black engine oil running down. My spirit immediately fell in love with that black engine oil. I told my dad, I'm not going home today. I have to start work today, because I spent six years learning this in the garage. I go to school 8 a.m. and I close 2 p.m. My overall is already in my school bag. Once I close from school, I dash straight into the garage. When we were growing up, there was nothing like a, a lady mechanic. When there is a breakdown on the road and you call a mechanic to come by to help you fix your vehicle and a woman comes, I'll be like, no, this is, the, I said I need a mechanic. What are you doing here? I need somebody to jack my vehicle and fix my car, not a lady. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, she's you very crazy. Very crazy when it comes to her job. 
So you can see who wouldn't uh, want to have a woman like that. The drive in me, I have a fire, like a burning passion inside me. Of course, it's not all rosy. The girls, they are from different ethnic groups in Nigeria, different Hausa, Yoruba, different tribes, you know? Different vulnerable group, trying to bring hope. They believe that there's nothing that's possible in their life anymore. I believe that there is nothing that is not possible. Believe me, I can set up a garage on the high sea. I believe that so much. Hello. Hi. Ah, what are you people fixing here now? Okay, that's the okay, that's the generator. All the girls in other pay and train centers around Lagos State, they come to the headquarters in Lekki to take the theoretical class. Lecturers from the Technical College and College of Technology, they are the ones that comes in to take them on this uh, theoretical lesson. And at the end of the program, they write national examination called NAPTEC. Now, the main supply you take your main supply from this point, move your main supply. Skill change lives. Transforming a life from nowhere to somewhere. Transforming one girl that does not have hope before, now she has hope. Now she's even running her own garage. Now she's an entrepreneur. Now she's taking other guests off the street. Now she's had, she has dignity as a woman. Now she's confident. Now she has a voice and a future. Where is Rebecca? Call Rebecca. Let's do. Give me spark uh, plug spanner. Rebecca. Servicing tools. Uh huh. Is that one? Use this one. Rebecca. If I came to Lady Mechanic, I was on the street at a BI where I was doing stripping job. Uh, plug spanner. Eight nights to lose the the coin. And I've been here now for two years now. This one. Who's in that? Oh. Trip means when you're naked, where thousands of people watch you dance and things like that. So it's from there. I, I can't do it with my clear eyes anymore. So I have to go into drugs. And it's that drug that do help me at least remove the shame. When I came into the lady mechanic, I find it so difficult, like, uh uh. Even at times, it, it do come to my mind like, uh, uh, when you are stripping, can Sandra come and talk to you like that? You know, when you are in the street, nobody talks to you. You go on your own, you do whatever you like. You are not under anybody. As in, you don't have someone telling you, come here, where are you going to? For like a year, I tried to about to eat. But now, I'm, I'm used to it. I'm going to three years now. Working on a car, it gives me joy. What is the problem with this vehicle? The only way to tell if any check light comes on. Guests from LMI can come here for free training. And this training, we call it internship. So the internship eventually takes the girls into employment. <sighs> no, I will get Jessica, see the way you can't find me. This is Jessica. Jessica graduated from LMI. She works for a company called Jame Autos. Jame Autos, she is the one in charge of their AC system, air conditioning. So she's very happy, and I'm very proud of her. Electric and AC, she's very good. But right now we are on our way from the Lagos office to visit the Bini project to see what's going on there. And also to see my mom. 
I grew up in Bimisite. I was in female school. But when everybody knew that I was a mechanic, everybody ran away from me. Look at Sandra, she's a mechanic. Nobody should play with her again. That gave me the strength to continue with my choosing profession. You are welcome. Uh, this is my mom, Mrs. Patricia Agwebo. Um, my lovely mommy. My, my, my dad married about seven wives. She was the second wife. We have boys so stay, we have guests so stay. If this week my mother is in charge of cooking, she will make food for all the children, if it's our children or not our children. Even my half brothers, my half sisters. Hmm. Okay. I've not seen her for some time. Let me eat her food again, the food, those food I used to love when I was growing up. So I missed them and I missed her. So I said, let me see her. So it was a lovely home. We all grew up together. And, but there comes this, my great dream, at the age of 13, 14. Oibo, holy spanner, give it to her, the dream. I said, what are you saying? I just drove him, uh, her, to his father. Go and tell your father. Then he told his father, his father, yes, you will soon be a lady mechanic. I, I started beating her with the stick I have. She will give me so much work to do so that I won't go to the workshop. She will say, I only me should cook. I have other sisters. She will say, cook, make food, wash clothes. Uh, when you finish doing that, I will see if you are not tired enough. You will be tired so that you won't go to the workshop. So this is how it happened until she was now relaxed. She saw that I love the job and nothing will stop me no matter what she does. So she left me. By the time he started the work in Cali, people were laughing. All your friends, see your body, oh yeah, all your of motto, woman work. You woman will go and do it. I said, don't mind them. Papa, if Papa encouraged her not to mind them. This is where I was born. This is where I grew up. This is where the seven wife used to live. And this is where all of us, about 26 children, we used to live as well. Okay, here. My father was the president of Bender State Farmers Council. He went away, away. He went away, away, Baba, Baba. My dad used to be the one encouraging people to go into farming. He was giving them money to be able to buy crops and all that to go and plant. It's like what I do today. Meet Mr. Jacob Friday. He's the MD of Auto Juniors. He has with him about uh, five guests of Lady Mechanic Initiative that he has been training for the past three years now. Graduation is coming up in another one and a half months. So now tell me, what do you know more about electric cars now? Anything that has to do with electric, I can do it. Mm. Because of other garage, but the one you gave to us, mm. they can work anywhere. I know. I tell you, they are good. Okay. I trade them. A customer do ah, Last is month. this a lady that wants to fix my car? Can she do it? We say, sir, we can do it. So he said, no, 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 no. I need a man. We tell him, sir, we can do it. I see myself on top of the world. So whenever I'm going, whenever I put on this uniform, I'm very, very happy. They cannot be soft. Anywhere, no matter what, they soft. This land was donated by the Oba of Bini Kingdom to the Lady Mechanic Initiative. Oba Nedoku Akbolokbolo. Understand that the women of Edo State, we are strong. This place will be called the Lady Mechanic Village, where you will find a lot of women, strictly women, that has been empowered 
to become skillful auto mechanic, generator repairer, technicians, women technicians that can fix household water pumping machine. Anything you want, you find it at the Lady Mechanic Village in Benin City. <laughs> I don't lose my finish, I don't finish. <laughs> So everybody know how to drive now. If you don't know how to drive, I'm going to flog you people. Hi, it's Kano. Kano is fine. Ah. Yeah, yeah, Gary. Let me ask you in the house, sir. Yeah, Gary. Hi, Dave. We are lady mechanics. It's OK. The next step is how to obtain a driver license. But these trainees you find here in Kano State, they are female professional drivers. And these ones you see, we came here into Kano State to have it as a pilot project, to see how the women from the Northern Nigeria will take the project. Because I was having the belief that they would not want to come out to do this job because they see only men doing cab job, driving cars in the airport and all that. We went out on a, an outreach program on the streets. The number of girls, we wanted 20 and we got more. Check blind spot. Okay. Okay, put, let's go up. That is good. The women from the northern Nigeria, they are tired of sitting at home. They are not just only just housewives, but they can do even what the men are doing. Blind spot. Maybe in another one or two years, a lot of women in Kanu State will be seen on the road with their jar taking passengers from one destination to other. Isaac! Osas! What are we waiting for? Pane! This guy leave on your care. Daddy, come on, get inside. Peace! We are launching the after Lady Mechanic After School uh, Club project today in Lagos State. Nancy! Peace! Jump inside! And we are trying to change the mindset because you find very few young women going into science or going into engineering. Uh, do I look ugly? No. Good. You can be beautiful and become that person you want to be and still fix a car. And it does not stop you from being married. You can be a married woman, you can have children, you can be beautiful, and you are still doing this. You are still a technician or an engineer. I think some are 10 years old, some are 12, some are 13. This is the right time, and this is when Sandra, the first female mechanic in Nigeria, started as well. And that is why we brought it into schools as well. Come, come, come inside. You can see the guests walking there. They are fixing the engines. You can see here we have the gear bus. Do you know what is gear bus? How many of you know about it? Good. You will learn fast. The engine pass is there. I've worked so hard since I was 14 years old. I refuse to give up, even under the rain, the sunshine, the constraint, the obstacles, the challenges that would have driven me back, they become my opportunity. So I see the future so bright. Beep, beep, beep. Hooray. Beep, beep, beep. Hooray. My Nigeria women, they are great, they are strong. They want to help their men move life forward.